Yeah. Okay, welcome Paul Akers to Tokyo, Japan. I'm happy to be here, George. Yeah, tell me about yourself and why did you come? Uh, well, I'm 54 years old. I'm a carpenter by trade and I'm a business owner now, FastCap, product development company for woodworking tools and equipment. And I'm a lean maniac, as everybody knows, and I came because I want to learn. And I think that's probably the overall concept that most lean leaders have in common is they want to learn. We constantly want to learn and uncover the next cool thing that we can develop ourselves and our team by. And so I came to Japan so I could learn the next thing to move to the next level. Great, how big is your business and what kind of challenges are you facing with today? We have about 50 employees, we're in 40 countries, 900 products, and the biggest thing we're dealing with is scaling up. How do we go from a $14 million company to a $25 million company? I mean, there's a level of complexity that's involved in doing that. And frankly, that's what we're focused on, is that incredible growth curve that we're going through and how are we going to make that happen? And what do you hope to get out of this week's travels? Well, I know for sure I've already got it, and that is a, a solidifying of the relationships of awesome leaders in the lean community, yourself, George, and all the other people that came with us. These are, this is an unusual group of people. When I was at dinner last night, we sat around and we talked about different issues, and I have to tell you, the conversation was so stimulating comparatively to the first three times I've been to Japan with the other groups. Not that they weren't great, but we're dealing with a different level of people on this trip. And every one of us really, really, really want to learn. We're all letting our hair down. No, there's no pretension like I've got all the answers. We all have flaws. We all have problems. And we're discussing it openly with one another. And it's just really a great atmosphere for learning. Excellent. Tell me one thing you learned about lean leadership and how it applies to all sorts of businesses. Wow. The greatest thing about lean leadership is you don't know anything. <laughs> if you could just keep repeating those words after me, you don't know anything and there's so much to discover, you will be a fabulous lean leader. Excellent. And tell me something interesting about yourself or a goal you might have for this year. Well, interesting. I'm 54 years old and I just learned to surf. That's pretty badass. I don't know how else to put it. So I just spent 54 or excuse me, 25 days in Costa Rica and learned how to surf. That's pretty cool. And interesting about myself, I'm, uh, God, I'm a wild and crazy guy. I don't know. Uh, I just, I'm just live life. Every second to me is amazing. Every second of life is, ah, uh, there you go. Something you know what, interesting. Paul, I'm so happy to have you here. All right, Thank cool. You, All right. Yeah, thanks, thanks, George. Bye. Okay. Cool. All right. So my name is Paul Akers. I'm the founder and president of FastCap, a product development company. We make innovative woodworking tools for cabinet makers. I'm a cabinet maker just like Glenn. We started at the same time, 1997. Sir, is that when you started? 97, we started our company. Three years into it, I learned about lean in 2000. I've been doing it for about 15 years now. I became a maniac. <laughs> and the rest is history. But the reason why I'm on this trip is because George, my good friend here, my Greek friend, because I'm half Greek, Although I think I'm full of Greek, but that's beside the point. He sends me an email that there's an opportunity to go to Japan with Norman Bodak. And literally within 30 seconds of seeing that email, I immediately called George back up and said, is this for real? He says, yes. And George hung up the phone, called Norman. Norman immediately called me back and said, yeah, Paul, if you want to go, we want you to go. Within five minutes, I composed an email to a lot of you and said, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I've had situations happen in my life where I had the opportunity to do something and I made excuses why I couldn't do it because I was so busy and this was one of those situations. I was so busy, I had to cancel trips, I had to cancel tours to my company. 60, 80 people were coming to my company and I said, no, you can't come to my company. I'm going to Japan, I'm not going to miss this opportunity. My wife walked in the door 15 minutes later after I sent the email, I said, she's been to Japan many times with me, she's very busy as well. Do you want to go to Japan with Norman Bodak? And she looked at me and said, yes, I want to go. Book the tickets within 45 minutes. I came here, honestly, to walk in the shadow of this man, to learn. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Look what he's doing to me. How do I get out of Okay, learn him. Go give him a hug. Go yeah. give him a hug. What the hell? Oh, I hug you. Oh, I'm here in October. Thank you for all of us.